What about your friends? Will they stand their ground? Will they let you down? Hey, what about your friends? Are they going to be low down? In this case and in this movie, yes, they're going to be low down. What's up, y'all? This is Ty. I am here. It is Tubi Tuesday. I am here to review a movie that comes on the Tubi app. Y'all know that I do this every Tuesday. It's called Vicious Affair. Before I get into that, I got to give a shout out to all my lovely subscribers. It's going to be a quick one. We ain't going to be here too long. All my lovely subscribers that hold me down in the comment section, you know who you are. I love you. Thank you. Keep on leaving comments. Keep liking. Make sure you tell people to subscribe, share, hit that uh, like button, hit the do, go in the comment section and keep the channel going and growing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Now let's get right on down to this review of Vicious Affair. This was directed by Chris Stokes and uh, produ and I think executive produced by Marquise Houston. Those two, they added again. They they got a lot of stuff up on Tubi here. They do. I'm, I'm noticing that. Now the stars uh, Annie Linoza. I think that's how you say her name. Uh, Robert Richard, we know him from One on One and a few other things. Lamaya Good and Black China is in this as well. And um, it's about Skylar and Kenneth, this very successful uh, couple, married, husband and wife. Um, Robert Richard plays Kenneth. It's Kenneth and Skylar, very successful. They both had successful careers. She just got a promotion. She has a best friend named Camila. Um, she has an assistant named, I believe the assistant's name was Kim, who is played by Black China. And I'm going to say, if I have to judge this movie based on the scenery, if we're going by scenery, I love the scenery and the way everything looked. The house was bad. They had a bad house. Bad house, I'm telling you, house was nice. And y'all know how I feel about nice houses and floor to ceiling windows and things of that nature. I got a big window right here in my living room, but I want that floor to ceiling feeling. I'm telling manifesting that. I mean, my house is nice, but when I be seeing, the, I, I go crazy when I see a nice house. And all the houses and guest houses and stuff they showed in here was really nice. Another thing that caught my eye that was not so nice was the hairstyle on Black China? Beautiful young lady, but what was up with this hairstyle? It was very distracting for me. It was, and I ain't, I ain't trying to be because you know I don't do that negative stuff, but it was very distracting. Um, you know she had the Halle Berry, the short haircut, Halle Berry, Anita Baker from the '90s short haircut, which is fine up here, but then down here it was the, it was just. Bald and shaved. It was kind of giving whatever that dude from the Three Stooges like that shit. It just didn't. It just didn't look right. Then it was like this sideburn right here, but it sideburns right here. But then the, the, I don't know what was going on with that. That was very distracting. She, I liked her character too, but every scene I just was focused on the hair. Like why they shave it so close? Why didn't they blend? She just looked crazy. It just looked crazy to me. So that that kind of was like, eh. But anyway. That's not what this is about. Skyla and Kenneth are very successful, very happily married couple, great career. Um, she has a best friend named Camila. Things seem to be going well till one day Camila tells her, oh my goodness, my husband is cheating on me and I feel so terrible and like a loser. What is wrong with me? What's the problem? Yada, yada, yada. So Skyla tells her, Girl, come on over to my house. You know, your my house is you're welcome here. But her husband Kenneth was like, nah, gee, nah, nah, well, we only do that. I don't want her over here. And see, that was the first sign right there. Your husband told you he ain't want her over there. He said, nah, I don't want her over here. Nah, I don't think that's a good idea. No, no best friend of mine is not gonna, it's gonna, I can't leave my best friend. She needs me. Oh, she gonna need you, all right. So she lets her in her house. And now throughout this film, we see. Um, Skylar, ooh, 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 touching her side. Something clearly wrong with her. She don't want to go to the hospital. So she, um, they, that was something they let us on, know early on in the film that something's wrong with her. So now to make Camilla feel better, they tell Camilla, come on out with us to this gala. And again, her husband's like, how you know her husband ain't going to be there? Kenneth told her, how you know her husband ain't going to be here? 
And then she's like, oh, let's bring her out there. Lo and behold, Camilla's husband does show up there. This traumatizes Camilla. She gets upset. She curses him out. Get away from me. I hate you. And now here comes Skylar to the rescue. And as she's coming to her rescue, oh, that side that was hurting, it, she faints. So now she goes to the hospital and she has to stay in the hospital overnight. And now Camilla gets to stay in her house with her husband. That's why this is a vicious affair. I say, oh, this must be when the vicious affair starts. And I'm like, here we go. Now, Camilla done come, came over. The husband still wasn't cool with this. He still wanted her not to be there. But she's over there. She, oh, I didn't know I was in, I thought I had the house to myself. First of all, you're supposed to be in the guest house. That's number one. I'm so sorry. Now she come over with her lingerie to his bedroom and with some wine. He was supposed to tell her, get on up out of here. But, you know, I forgot what happened. Next, you know, she's, the, she, next, you know, she's on him, seducing him. Next morning, they wake up, they're in the bed together, he jumps up, she's all rubbing on him, he said, what happened, and whatever happened, it can't happen again, I was drunk, she kind of flips out on him, then she gets nice again, and I was like, okay, this is crazy, and she says, well, I'm not going to say nothing to her, but, um, and he's like, you got to go, and she said, well, if I go, I'm going to tell, or whatever, so then... It's time to pick up his wife. He goes to pick up Skylar from the hospital, brings her home. He told Skylar, yeah, she's leaving. But then when Skylar gets to, no, no friend of mine is leaving, the girl has screwed your husband. And you know friend of mine is leaving. And then, and then Camilla's like, well, if Kenneth wants me to leave, I leave. So that put him in a weird spot. Me, I still would have been like, yeah, you should leave, ho. Yeah, you need to leave. But he doesn't do that. He goes in. Now, this is where... It gets crazy for me. Um, you see Camilla getting manipulative and you hear her having a conversation. You see her having a conversation with Skylar and she brings up the fact that Skylar can't have children. And that pissed Skylar off because it's like, wait, how do you know about that? Oh, your husband kind of told me it in passing that he always wanted a little boy and you can't have children for him. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, see, there we go. And that caused some friction in the household because now... Um, Skylar's upset with Kenneth. Like, why are you telling this girl my business? What I don't like that. And you know, we see Camilla in the background snooping around. I said, see, that's crazy right there. Then she drops some panties in the hamper so that Skylar can find these panties. And I'm like, and then he kind of I like how he finessed his way out of that. When he asked the, when she asked him about it, he was like, nah. Mm. First he said he was laughing. He said, no, no, no. Oh, you got me. Those are the panties that I bought you. And she fell for that. Oh, Skylar, these are the panties that I brought you, blah, blah, blah. So she fell for that. So that, that little trick didn't work. But this is what turned me off about this film. And I thought was most unbelievable for me was when he was in the shower a homegirl Camilla walks up in there and starts rubbing on him and then threatens him and says, if you don't Give me some right now and, and make love to me right now. I'm going to scream and cause a scene. Well, you know what? If that was me, because he said, you know, who she, who you think she's going to believe? She's going to believe me over you. Nah, I would have had to take that chance because I would have like, get out of this bathroom, you whore. Like, I would have made a scene myself. Yo, what you doing? In the, and if your wife is, if it was my wife, my wife would have definitely believed me because, come on, you in the bathroom with me and you're going to, you're going to, I'm already in the shower. You're going to call my wife? But no, somehow he, she was able to, this was, a, this was a way that made him, okay, I'm forced to have sex with you again. And that was stupid. So right there, I was like, who wrote that? The, what, really? I wasn't convinced by that because nah, you come in the bathroom, I'm already in the bathroom. I'm already yelling, yo, I'm calling my wife. Soon as you walk your ass up in the bathroom, <coughs> I'm calling her, Skylar, I would have got you out of that and that would have been the end of the movie. That's how that would work for me. But see, maybe I said, well, maybe Kenneth did want some. So lo and behold, he did have sex with her again. But he tell her, no, you really got to leave. I'm done. You really got to go. This, th You really, truly got to go. She does a couple of other little antics and different things. There's this back and forth banter that was really odd to me. Um, and he does tell her, you're going to leave or I'm going to hurt you. She does eventually leave. They get into him and... Uh, Kenneth and Skylar get into, um, I mean, Kenneth and Camilla get into a fight. 
And then he tells, he's the one who actually tells his wife that he he slept with um, Camilla. He tells Skylar that. She gets upset. She throws him out. And you think this thing would be over. He's still trying to get her back or whatever. You think, okay, she threw him out, this and that. Now here come this chick again. Now you in the house and it's just her. It's Camilla and Skylar and she's popping junk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're a man, and you know, because I could do something you can't do, my stuff works, because you know that she can have babies, and Skylar can't. So Skylar attack her, and they get into a nice fight. Wham, bam, bam, bam. That was entertaining. And then they flip over in the counter in the kitchen, and then it looks like, damn, did she kill her? There's blood. And as they're having this fight, in walks Kenneth, and they call the police. Now they girls, she done put... Camilla in the hospital, so Camilla ain't dead. But while they're there, they have they talk to the cops, they get a restraining order. And they get a restraining order. You think that's gonna stop the chick? No, no, no. In true fatal attraction fashion, which most of these movies are patterned after, she keeps coming back. They got a restraining order. This chick somehow gotten they sleep, she in the house watching them. I said, wow, this is crazy. This big old house, this fancy, nice house y'all got. Y'all ain't got ADP, home security, no alarms, no nothing. <laughs> so she's in the house. Then she wakes up. Skylar wakes up. It's all this brown stuff spilled over the bed. It was coffee because she knows that her and her husband do the coffee things. So uh, Camilla said, I'm going to pour coffee on her. Ah, take that whole head, some coffee. But I'm like, you were sleeping that deep. You ain't, you didn't smell that coffee or feel the bed wet or anything. And, just saying. So they still have this issue. Then she's stalking even more. She's stalking her in the in the driveway of her own home. She said, call the police if you want. I'm screwing the cops too. I'm like, this is crazy. So then Kenneth says, I know what we can do. We can go to our um, beach house. The beach house was nice too. So they're getting ready at the beach house. Kenneth's playing the flamingos. I only have eyes for you. That's a nice song. Shoo up, shoo up. That song is dope. Classic, classic. He getting ready. Who pops up in the bathroom? None other than crazy Camilla with a gun. Now, mind you, she done killed her husband and his mistress. Now she's over here all up in Skylar's face. And Skylar sees the gun. What you going to do with this gun? She tell her, listen... I'm, I have to get rid of you, blah, blah, blah. So Skylar's having this small talk with her. She's like, you know, he loved both of us, blah, blah, blah. She's seeming to work a little bit. Then the homegirl snaps a little bit. They get the tussling in the bathroom over the gun. A nice little fight in the bathroom. The gun falls in the tub. Skylar's fighting, trying to call uh, Kenneth, but he in there. Shoo up, shoo up. Doom. Shoo up, shoo up. I did like that scene between that while that's going on. But again, very fatal attraction-ish. All this stuff. That's just what it reminds me of. They get in this, they're fighting in the bathroom. She gets the best of, uh, Skylar gets the best of Camilla. And it looks like she drowned there in the tub. Because the last scene we show is her in the tub. And finally, Kenneth comes in there. He sees that. Then we go to a scene nine months later. Nine months later, it's Kim... It's Skylar and it's Kenneth and there's a baby. And I'm like, wait a minute. I thought homegirl couldn't have a baby. And there's the baby monitor. And it's like, yes, baby. Oh, my baby, blah, blah, blah. And then we go look outside. Apparently, Camilla lives and Camilla is watching on the baby monitor. Yes, mama is here. And then it ends like that. So I'm like, yeah, okay. So we're left with questions. Is that... So clearly, clearly, Camilla survived. She must have been pregnant. That's what I'm thinking. Was she pregnant? Because they said nine months later. She survived. They took her baby and raised it as their own. Is that what's happening here? I don't know. And did she go to jail? What happened? And then now here she is outside the car. Mama's coming and it ended. Looks like they're trying to plan a sequel. Please don't. I, I We don't need one for this. Um, they might do it. Who knows? It depends on how the viewership is for this. But I have to say, overall, I was disappointed with this movie. I 
this one didn't do it for me. The scenery did it for me, the, the, the nice houses and all that. But the they lost me when she forced him to have sex with her in the shower because that, that wasn't, mm, I didn't buy that. I, mm, I didn't like the end then either. And it just, her motives for why she was doing all this was, eh, oh, you know, my husband cheated on me and you had the perfect life. And so I want to ruin yours. Eh. Yeah, this one just didn't do it for me. So I, I was a little disappointed. I thought it could have been better. Could have thought it could have been executed better too. And like all these two B movies, these endings, I'm like, oh, this this how we end in this? All right. So that's my thoughts. You tell me your thoughts. That's all I have for now. Again, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my review of Power Book Four Force. I'm reviewing that this season. And um, I believe the Oval is coming back and a few other things. So thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see you all in the next video.